Come along with us today as we try to dupe a furniture flip that was a favorite over on Instagram. Let's go. Welcome into Lemons to Lemonade. My name is Kara, and we're a furniture flipping family located deep in the heart of Texas. I've had a china cabinet in my garage for a few months now, and I have been just lacking the inspiration on what to do with this thing. I stumbled across a very popular Instagram post by Basalt Mesa, and I knew right away that I had finally found my dream china cabinet. It's just what I'm wanting for my own Christmas present this year. So join us in the garage and let's see how close we can get to this Instagram fan favorite. Our starting point is a 1965 china cabinet. It's in pretty good shape, which is gonna be helpful for this flip. There are a lot of steps I need to do to get the finished look that I'm hoping for off of that Instagram post that I just love so much. First things first, everything needs a good clean. I used a TSP solution and some warm water and I'll clean everything that way first. After I'm done with that, I will go through with some clean water just to make sure all the TSP has been removed. The hardware is original to the piece and I definitely want to keep that. I'm going to go ahead and remove it and just give it a good clean so I can put it back on later. If there was any damage to the piece, most of it is on this top part here from the china cabinet hutch sitting on top of it for years and just being moved around a little bit. It had the big ding here on the side, which really isn't too bad at all. It is a thin veneer set on top of this, so I will have to be very careful when I'm sanding down this top. To start by sanding a lot of this base and the legs I'm going to go ahead and put it up on top of a small table to make my work a little easier You can see in these corners where my orbital sander is just not quite able to get. So that's why I love my 3x4 surf prep sander. It will go into all these corners, nooks and crannies and things like that that I'm not able to get with my orbital. some hand sanding I'll need to do on this project. I cannot put my surf prep on top of this part because it's going to start eating through the cabinet door, which I do not want. So I found a screwdriver head that was the same size of these little edges that I need to get into. I'm just going to wrap a piece of sandpaper around that and it will make some quick work of these little parts that still need to be sanded. Now 
Now it's time for me to start working on the veneer top. Since this is a thin piece of veneer, I'm gonna start slowly with a piece of 120 grit sandpaper and then work up to a 220. If this was all wood, you'd be able to start with something with a little more grit like an 80, but um, I've gotta be really careful with this and I don't wanna burn through the top. glorious thing about my surf prep is it's going to make really quick work of these little scalloped edges here. I put on my squishy foam pad and wrap a piece of 120 grit sandpaper around the top of this part and into the edges it will go. It will save me so much time having to hand sand this like I normally would. We've got a fun little twist planned for the inside of this china cabinet. So to make life a little easier, we're gonna go ahead and remove the backing and we'll show you what we do with this in just a few minutes. If you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, would you consider hitting that like, subscribe, or comment button below? Every little bit of engagement helps this channel to grow. We really appreciate you guys being here. I'm going to paint this piece with the drawers on, so I'm gonna cover up all this hardware that's still on here. going to use some universal bonding primer on this piece first before we paint we are going to be using a lighter color so I want to make sure that I don't have any bleed through on my piece whoops you can see I went a little too heavy in that area with my spray can so I will have to go back once this is completely dried and give that a light sand so it doesn't show up in my paint job We're finally ready to paint. We have chosen the color Greek Villa by Sherwin-Williams Chalk Paint Collection. It is a creamy vanilla white. It's gonna be perfect for this Instagram dupe. So we're gonna go ahead and load it into our gravity fed HVLP sprayer and off we go.
chosen to stain the top in the general finish antique walnut gel stain color this is going to give us the perfect look for my instagram dupe A big thank you to Basalt Mesa Studios for allowing me to duplicate their photo over on Instagram and show it to you all on YouTube. I will show you my inspiration pick from Basalt Mesa Studio at the end of this video, so be sure to stay tuned. We're going to stain the top of the hutch in the same antique walnut color. First, I like to go over everything with a tack cloth to make sure all my sanding dust is completely off before we start to apply the gel stain. All of my hardware is going to get a little updating with some black and bronze metallic masters metallic paint collection just go ahead and use a little paintbrush and a guide here so i don't get any on my white paint i found this really beautiful peel and stick wallpaper off of amazon i'll go ahead and leave the link to it in the comment section below if you're interested and i'm going to put that on the back of my china hutch here so my china hutch backing came off in three pieces we are going to attach the three pieces with some packaging tape so it stays nice and smooth and together while we put the peel and stick wallpaper on the back of this stay tuned We've used peel and stick wallpaper on quite a few projects now. I will link one of them up above if you're interested in visiting another project where we go into more detail about how to apply this. So I won't go into great depth on this video. Uh, my two cents about it is that I love it. It is very in style right now. There are tons of selections to choose from, especially on Amazon, so you can get whatever look that you're going for. I like to have it done with an extra set of hands helping me. It does really help. Uh, you don't need it. You just have to have some patience to do this. And the more you do it, the quicker you get at it, which is I'm sure applies the same for regular wallpaper. Everything is ready to be polycoated. We like to use Minwax Spar Urethane. It is a water-based product, and I like it in the satin formula for my chalk-painted surfaces. That way it's not too shiny. It leaves a little bit of that matte finish on there that I like to see with the chalk paint. And I will apply two coats of this. Today's flip is part of a cozy winter furniture challenge hosted by the wonderful Jay at Flipping Drawers. If you don't follow him on YouTube, you definitely want to. The playlist for this entire challenge is listed in the comment section below.
big thank you to Karen. She found our Amazon wish list in the comments below and sent us the finishing nails that we're going to need for this project. So thank you so much, Karen. You're going to make a really quick work for us in reattaching this back. One last look at our before, and here's our after.